Hello dear kids today we are going to read a funny story about a grandma's visit to the house Let's go into the story Silly frilly grandma Tilly written by Lori A Jacobs illustrated by Annie G Wade Grandma Tilly says she is too old to play games. She says all she likes to do is sit and knit. But Chloe and I love when Grandma Tilly babysits because after Mommy and Daddy leave Grandma Tilly disappears. I'll just sit in here and knit. Grandma Tilly says. She opens the closet door, turns on the light and steps inside. Sophie, you keep an eye on Chloe. The closet door closes. Chloe climbs onto my lap. Then the closet door swings open. Hello, 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 sings the lady with the bright pink hair. It's time for the Tilly Vanilly show. Tilly Vanilly can recite the alphabet backwards while balancing on one leg she can hang a spoon from her nose and she can juggle and tell jokes at the same time Come on juggle with me girls says Tilly Vanilly Now tell me if food comes from farms who grows turkey sandwiches it's the farmer in the deli that's a good one tilly vanilly i say here's another tilly vanilly continues if a puppy leaves paw prints in a house What kind of marks does it leave in a castle? Pro princes and princesses. More jokes please Tilly Vanilly. Chloe says. Last one. What game did the hamburger and the french fry play? It wasn't catch. It was catch up we shout hooray cheers tilly vanilly now let's do the conga we go conga 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 all around the house and into the kitchen conga 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 This is the end of our conga line Tilly Vanilly says bowing low Chloe and I applaud Bye Tilly Vanilly thanks for the show Tilly Vanilly walks backward out the kitchen door I help Chloe onto her seat Then the kitchen door swings open. Howdy, calls the lady with the lampshade hat. Welcome to Chef Silly Tilly's dinner. Our special this evening is worm chili with glue gravy. Ew! Would you prefer roasted snake toes? Gross! 
Chef Silly Tilly frowns. Hmm, I don't suppose you ladies would like the last item on our menu? It's a plain old grilled cheese and potato chip sandwich with a side of pickles and cold chocolate milk. Hooray! Chloe and I shout. Chef Silly Tilly sings while she cooks. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine, you forgot to do the shopping, so no dinner Clementine. Chef Silly Tilly rolls her eyes when Chloe and I dip our pickles in the chocolate milk. But she cheers when we have a contest to see who can blow the biggest bubbles. I have to go potty, Chloe says. I'll take you, I tell her. Bye, Chef Silly Tilly. Thanks for dinner. I take Chloe to the bathroom. When she's finished, I help her wash her hands. Then the bathroom door swings open. Darlings, drawls the lady with the sparkly eyeglasses and the towel turban. I'm Madame Frilly Tilly and I'm here to make you two ladies gorgeous. Madame Frilly Tilly fills the bathtub with bubbles and Chloe and I climb in. Maybe you should try a new look, she tells me. She gives me a bubble beard, very dignified. She puts a tower of bubbles on Chloe's head, very chic. Madam Frilly Tilly put some bubbles on her own face. Very gorgeous. Chloe and I laugh so hard the bubbles fly. Madam Frilly Tilly soaps us up and washes us down. When we are all dry, she pats us with a fluffy puff of sweet-smelling powder. Stunning, she says, when we are dressed in our pajamas. Superb, Sophie and Chloe, you two will be the most beautiful sleepers in the house. Now, off to bed. Bye, Madam Frilly Tilly. Thanks for the bath. I wonder who is going to tuck us in. I say, Hicker Hilly Tilly or Skyer Chilly Tilly or maybe Zoo Lady Gorilly Tilly. I want my plain Grandma Tilly, Chloe says. Oh. Just then, the bedroom door swings open and in walks Grandma Tilly. You're not going to be silly now, are you, Grandma Tilly? Chloe asks. Grandma Tilly smiles. Silly? Me? Never! I'll just sit here and read you a nice quiet story. Chloe is asleep before the end and they lived happily ever after, Grandma Tilly says. She kisses me and turns out the light. Are you going to dance more? I ask. Grandma Tilly laughs. 
who me dance no no dancing just knitting good night my stunning superb and gorgeous little sophie but as i close my eyes i'm sure i hear my silly frilly grandma tilly dancing down the hall konga 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 i hope you loved the story i really loved reading the story i hope i can bring more stories like this which are really funny to be read and really funny to be heard thank you really kids thank you so much for listening and supporting me thank you so much for watching bye subscribe